I had uh, very good talks with, uh, of course, uh, the Trilet, uh, together with uh, President Zelensky and uh, Prime Minister Starmer, and then uh, after that uh, my, uh, my bilet uh, with uh, the Prime Minister. And uh, can I say again that when we discuss Ukraine, we know it is tough, uh, because the Russians are more making small advances in the East, by the way, at a considerable loss of life on the Russian side. So they lose a lot of people. Uh, people dying, people getting seriously wounded, but still the Russians are making those small advances. We are not only into this uh, because of the fact that we want to support Ukraine. Yes, of course, that is the main reason. But also because supporting Ukraine in this fight against Russia is crucial for our collective safety here in this part of Europe, in Canada, in the United States, all over NATO territory. Because if uh, Putin would get his way uh, in Ukraine, that will mean a serious security implication, have a serious security implication for all of us uh, in NATO. And that is why we are in this. Yes, for Ukraine, but also to make sure that we stay, uh, that we stay safe. And then in my uh, uh, bilat uh, with uh, Keir Starmer, I, I very much said that we are really appreciative of everything the UK is doing. First of all, being already before 2014, when we committed to the 2%, uh, already the UK being a one of the few countries being above the 2%, and consistently doing that. The UK delivering unique capabilities like the uh, nuclear uh, deterrent. Um, uh, but also what the UK is doing for Ukraine uh, in terms of uh, aid, in terms of weapons, but also training. Uh, really, the UK is, is doing a lot, and this is crucial. Let me also make use of this occasion to say that the annual uh, nuclear exercise uh, steadfast noon will start on Monday. We will have uh, more than 60 aircraft involved in, uh, in training uh, sessions. Uh, the whole exercise will particularly focus on the United Kingdom, uh, the North Sea, but also Belgium uh, and uh, the Netherlands. And in an uncertain world, uh, it is vital that we test our defense and that we strengthen our defense so that our adversaries know that NATO is ready and is able to respond to any threat. Thank you. Uh, President Zelensky has persistently asked for long-range weapons and an agreement that he can use those weapons against Russia, against Russian targets in Russia. Have you changed your stance? Are you going to deliver those weapons? Or are you going to give that permission? Well, first of all, that is up to the allies, the individual allies, to decide how weapons they deliver into Ukraine can be used. Uh, legally, uh, that is possible, uh, because legally um, Ukraine is allowed uh, to use uh, its weapons if they can hit targets in Russia, uh, if these targets present a threat uh, to Ukraine. But whether individual allies do that, that's in the end also always up to individual allies. Of course, we discussed this. I was last week in Kiev, we discussed it today, um, but uh, in the end it is up to the individual but allies. Would you back the use on Russian targets in Russia? Well, again, legally, yes, that is possible, and legally there is a case to be made to do that, but now you are asking not only about that legality, but also you are linking it to one specific weapon, and, and that's not up to me, that in the end is up to the individual allies. Yes, this decision has been made today hmm? about this uh, long range mentality. I didn't say that. No, no, no. There is no change on that, because that in the end is up to the allies which deliver certain weapon systems into Ukraine, whether they can be used uh, for long-range uh, distance uh, into Russia. But again, legally that's possible, but in the end it is up to the allies. Do you, do you sympathize with Vladimir Zelensky, who has said he is effectively having to fight with one hand tied behind his back, because the countries like the UK will not give permission to use storm shadow missiles at targets inside Russia? Well, I think it is a bit more nuanced, because when you look at what the UK is doing, I think it is now three billion a year you guys are uh, providing Ukraine with, with military uh, aid, uh, with training. But you look at the US, the US has just agreed again eight billion uh, military aid going into uh, Ukraine. And we know that many other allies, uh, including Germany, France, and, and many smaller allies like Denmark, and I'm not going to mention them all, but the whole of the alliance is in this. Um, and, and let's not focus on one system, one weapon system alone. It will not be one weapon system which will make the change. So I understand 
uh, what Zelensky is asking, but at the same time he also agrees that there is a broader issue to be debated to make sure that they prevail. President Thank you, Trump that's all we have time and his for. Team have signaled numerous times that Ukraine does not have his unwavering support. He could be re-entering the White House soon. What is your message to President Trump? I, I don't have a message for President Trump because I know him well. I worked in my previous role as this Prime Minister for four years with him. I know that he understands completely and uh, agrees with me that this fight in Ukraine is not only about Ukraine, it's also about the safety and uh, the future security of the United States. He knows this. Uh, we also know that in the US, in Congress and in the Senate, there is broad bipartisan support for this. So, uh, really, stop worrying about a Trump presidency. We do not know who will win. Uh, I will work with Kamala Harris if she is chosen. I will work with Donald Trump when he uh, will be chosen. And but in the end. you're not worried about President Trump withdrawing support for Ukraine? I'm not worried about that because I'm absolutely convinced that the US is in this because they understand that it's not only for Ukraine but also for them and that from, from Washington to San Francisco the whole of the US uh, would be less secure if Putin would be successful in Ukraine. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.